This is Rockstar Marketing Academy with your host, Kara Chase. Every week, Kara chats with you about something that's going to move you forward in your business. How-tos and insider tips about Pinterest marketing, online entrepreneurship, and productivity. You can read each episode over on the blog at karachase.com. Now, let's dive in. Hey, hey, thanks so much for joining me today. Before I forget, I want to remind you to go ahead and subscribe to the Rockstar Marketing Academy. I publish this podcast on Anchor, but it can be found anywhere you listen to podcasts, whether that's iTunes or Google Play or Stitcher or whatever. So however you are listening to this podcast, number one, thank you. Number two, please hit subscribe. Today, we are going to be talking about the seven secrets to stop multitasking. Multitasking is the bane of the solopreneur's existence. You have to wear all the hats, operations, client management, creative department, and social media, PR, marketing strategy. Add in being a spouse or a parent, and you can reach almost spontaneous combustion constantly. To use a favorite expression, you can't see the forest for the trees. So tell me if this is what happens to you too. You sit down to work for the day. If you're trying to get ahead, you wrote out your to-do list the night before. You start with menial tasks first while the caffeine works its magic. While you're on your second, or in my case, fourth, cup of coffee, your brain starts to wake up and want to do productive things. At this point, you're halfway through your email and quite possibly down the rabbit hole of social media. You flit back and forth between interesting articles, half-read blogs, notes to self, and responding to clients. You have 21 internet browser tabs open. You take a short break because you don't feel like you're getting much done and you're starting to get overwhelmed. You decide to work on a project that doesn't require the internet, like creating blog graphics or mapping out an ebook. Your phone or other notifications start pinging you. Email, Facebook, texts, on and on. It's now 4 or 5 p.m. You need to think about the evening, family to-dos, you didn't get to the gym or even go on a walk, and everything is half done. Crap. I have been there. Some days I'm still there. As I get deeper and deeper into being my own boss, I'm continually working on ways to be more productive and just not feel so scattered every day. There are endless articles that assert how bad multitasking actually is for success and productivity. As I work my way out of half done and into accomplished, here are the best tips and tricks that I use to stay on track. Number one, I don't check email first thing. Admittedly, I check my phone pretty much as soon as I get out of bed, which is another habit I need to break. But I only check to make sure there is nothing that requires my immediate attention. Then I put it down. To further the email restraint, do your best to only check and respond to email twice per day, say at 9 a.m. or 3 p.m. In a world of instant everything, often clients expect an immediate response. Chances are they can wait a couple of hours. Number two, give your brain a chance to wake and join you. I don't even think about really working until I'm two cups of coffee in. If I do, I can only handle the menial BS and it sets the tone for my day. If you don't have the love affair with eye-popping black coffee like I do, then do whatever floats your boat. Meditate, yoga, tea, whatever. Just give your brain a chance. Number three, Have a list of to-dos that was written down the night before. I keep my to-do list to five to six tasks per day. If I have a huge rolling list that constantly looks unfinished, then it psychs me out. I also make sure I have small tasks as well as bigger tasks so I know I can get things checked off that list. I tend to be more creative and brainstormy in the evening, so writing out my list at the end of the day for the next day just works better for me. Number four, schedule recurring tasks into batch days. 
Having one main focus for the day helps to push through that task from start to finish. For example, I spend a chunk of time on Mondays and Thursdays scheduling out my social media posts for the next few days. I might spend the entire day on Tuesday taking photos that I'll use on my blog. Then Wednesday is content day, newsletters, etc., etc. Success with this method is how I created the ideal work week template. I theme my day so I know what to concentrate on, whether I have a few minutes or a few hours. More on that in just a second. Number five, schedule education time. I get a lot out of business books and how-to articles. I know if I take the time to read them undistracted, I will get ideas and motivation for myself or clients. I usually end up using one night a week after the kiddos go to bed to read for business. The information sinks in much better than all of those half-read articles in browser windows that I never quite finish. Number six, stop. Seriously, have a time to put it all down. Even if you know it will be 9 p.m., give yourself the space to complete your day and take care of yourself and commit to an end. Number seven, reassess your calendar consistently. When I time block my calendar, It gets stale and I forget what I'm supposed to be doing when. The reminders are just dismissed like every other pop-up and I ignore them. While I love structure, I also get bored easily. About once every four to six weeks, I reassess my time blocking and batch days to see what needs to be tweaked. These tips are mostly centered around the tasking of running your own business. Every day there is client work and daily to-dos that have to happen no matter what. Because client work typically gets first priority. The self-care of your business too often can take a back seat if you're a multitasking addict. There is a bonus inside Pinterest Power Up called the Ideal Work Week. I came up with an editable spreadsheet that helps me theme and time block my days so I know how to best get to my to-dos in my calendar. It's one of the many entrepreneurship resources available to all members inside Pinterest Power Up. There are two things that I want to tell you about before we wrap up today. The first is Pinterest Power Up. It's the first Pinterest marketing membership specifically designed for online entrepreneurs. All Pinterest Power Up members receive instant access to our full training library to take their Pinterest for business knowledge to the next level. Plus, you get an onboarding call with me, community feedback and support, live monthly Q&As, exclusive member discounts, affiliate access, and more. I'm going to link you up in the show notes and over on the blog for you to find out more. Finally, I want to tell you about something I put together this year that I needed, so I created it for myself. It's the Pinterest Content Marketing Planner. It's everything you need as an online entrepreneur to market with Pinterest and keep track of your daily, weekly, monthly schedule, as well as your CEO goals and planning. You can find out more about that at carachase.com slash planner. Thanks so much, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for listening, Rockstar. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Want to know more about Pinterest marketing for your online business? Head over to PinterestPowerUp.com, the first Pinterest marketing membership designed for entrepreneurs. We'll catch you next time.